Greetings from Limon College. As you see, they feature my first start around the campus to promote math and science. In fact, I invited two of my students to create human circuit. Let's take a look. In this circuit, Mr. Barry is a resistor, Isaac is a voltage, and Albert is an electron. You're going to use this analogy to explain Ohm's law. What is resistor doing in the circuit? What is voltage doing in the circuit? And what is electrons are doing in the circuit with respect to Ohm's law? Explain problem number two. Source charge, which is one coulomb, and there is a touch charge, let's say one micro coulomb, which is a three meter away from the source charge. I want you to find the force, the force between the big Q and the small Q. That's what I want you to do. Source charge which is one coulomb and there is a touch charge this is also positive I want you to find the electric field right here right here where there is a touch charge the short charge and the touch charge and the touch charge is one micro coulomb and the touch charge is r distance away from the short charge and the force between these two, you can get it from problem number, problem two. Use that force to find the electric field right here. Good luck. Next and final do know problem is, so let's say there is a charge Q3 and there is a charge Q2 and there is a charge Q1. Q2 from the distance from Q3 to Q2 let's say 2 meter and from Q2 to Q1 is uh, 0.3 meter and let's say Q3 is negatively charged and Q2 is let's say positively charged and Q1 let's say double it. Alright, so I want you to find the magnitude of the net force on Q3 due to Q1 and Q2. So, the magnitude of the force on Q3 due to Q2 and Q1. Alright, good luck.